Welcome back. We are now going to go to the reports menu and we are now going to take a look at the settings. And what you'll notice is that the settings are actually the analytics setup. And this will allow you to track your activity to your email so that you'll be able to tell what kind of email you sent that caused sales, what kind of emails that you sent that caused certain activities. And this is a very good way of getting intelligence on how effective your email is. Now, there are a couple of steps in order to get analytics set up on your site with your email. Now, you'll notice here that step one, Aweber talks about the premium analytics and the suite of features. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to copy this HTML code onto every page that you like to track. So in other words, wherever you want to track activity on your site, you'll need to copy this code and then place it inside of the body tag. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to copy this tag. We're going to right click and we're going to copy. And then we're going to head to our website. Now Aweber instructs you to put that JavaScript code within the body tags. Now, if you were to use one of the popular web page builders for WordPress, which is optimized press, you would put that tracking code in this area where it says after the body tag, and you'd place this here. What you would do then is you would then click save settings. Once you did that, it would be time to head back to a Weber. And then you'd click the continue to step two button. Once you did that, you would want to then write in the web address where you actually placed the analytics code. Once you had the web address, you would click the add button. Now, Aweber is officially tracking website clicks on the site where you place the web address. Now, what we want to do within Aweber, and it gives us the opportunity to do, is to track sales and we can do that by putting in a goal web page. Now after website clicks, what you'd want to do is you'd want to track sales. So you'd want to place in this space a page where your client has to go one time after they have completed a sale. Now you'd write in the goal description once you did that. So you'd pick up a page in your website that is a thank you page that your customer would visit one time. So in this case, we might select a download page that your customer would actually visit. And then we take the address of that page and we'd head back to a Weber. And what you do is you'd place the page in the goal page URL. You would describe the goal and then you would track the particular event inside of a Weber. So you can track sale, CPC, CPM, or a page hit. And you could determine a particular monetary value for the page once it had been hit. So in this particular case, we can track a sale. We can say that the monetary value of hitting that page is $17. And then we can click the add button. When you're tracking sales, you want to try to get a page that your client will visit one time. Verification with a Weber. If a customer visits this page twice, it will actually be counted twice. And that might throw off your monetary value. So you do want to keep that in mind. Now, one last area that is optional, but you'd want to actually place here would be making sure that you want your IP address to be ignored in the statistics. And you can do that by finding your own IP address. And if you go to the website, whatsmyipaddress.org, you will be able to find out what your IP address is. You can actually place that inside of a Weber. Once you've gathered that IP address and you've written it in, you can actually click add. And you can add any number of IP addresses that you think will actually throw off your stats if you were visiting the pages where you are actually tracking goals. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.